it is um what day is it saturday saturday all the days look the same when it snows <laughs> And we're getting another two to four inches of snow today, but we need some food again. Yeah, it starts to snow, we have to go to the store. <laughs> so we're going to uh, go get some breakfast and get some food to make us get through the next like four days. So it's supposed to snow today, Sunday, and Monday. Tomorrow's supposed to be the big one, tomorrow night. Yeah, this is just a little one. So, we are going to head out, Tegan. and Tegan's helping, clean. Alright, I'm going to go get the car out of the garage. Alright, CP, we're going to start getting downstairs, because it takes us three hours to go anywhere. Hey, guess where we are again? <laughs> it's um main tradition to go to Walmart. I guess so. Look how busy. I don't know if you guys can see, but like almost every parking space is filled. They're all stocking up for the storm. Gotta get the bread and milk, bread and milk, bread and milk. On this snowy day, I'm gonna be working on a little bit of Bin's DIY. I purchased this lampshade and the lamp last night at Goodwill. And I'm gonna be putting this in the new game room. But I need to repurpose it first. There's a couple cracks in it and stuff. So what I'm going to do is take the same material, the same material that are the curtains. I'm going to cover this lampshade with it and put this on the bottom with a little bit of ribbon. And you want to watch this movie? Okie dokie. I'll go put this in. Tegan wants to watch this while I work on my lampshade. First step is to lay out the fabric and then you want to leave a little hangout on this side then you're going to trim the fabric the whole length of this leaving a little bit of trim on this side so that you can fold it over to glue inside the lampshade. So I'm going to cut this real quick and then I'll have a smaller piece to work with so a little bit easier to handle. Now I have my piece cut out lay out my shade like this and then I'll have to trim it to fit the other side Woo! just rolling away so you could kind of see how it's gonna look now this is this what particular one I thought it was um, a uniform size all the way down but it's not it's just a slight bit bigger on this side than on this side so since this side is the side that's going to be on the ceiling, I've moved this down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all along this top seam right here. First, let that set. I'm going to use hot glue because it'll go faster. And then once that's all set and like stuck there, then I'm going to smooth it all out to glue along the bottom. So I'm going to get the hot glue and I'm going to glue across the top to show you so the top is all glued and now I'm working on the bottom so I have this section glued already the cool thing about working with patterns like this is if it's a little bit wrinkly I mean you don't want a wicked wrinkly but if it's a little wrinkly you won't notice it quite as much <laughs> so I'm gonna keep I'm putting like glue chunks all the way around here to keep it tight and then I will move on to covering the bottom so my shade is all done. Here's the top, here's the bottom. Voila, what do you guys think? Gonna go put it up and see how it works out. Now I'm trying to think about how I'm gonna do the bottom because, you know, I looked how to do this up online beforehand, like on Pinterest and stuff, and they had putting a piece of white cloth along the bottom, you know, to hide this. But then I was thinking, how do you change a light bulb? If, if you put that on the bottom. You know, they glue it along the bottom just like I did with the whole lampshade, then how do you change the light bulb? You can't reach in there to undo the thing. So, I have to think of something different. So I bought the ribbon for it, and I bought this, so I'm wondering if maybe I can do it like a, like a bow? I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking out loud right now. But I'm going to go put this up 
I'm gonna put this up in the room so we can kind of get an idea of what it'll look like and then I have to figure out this bottom. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know, I gotta think. You can't really see the design because of the light. The light bulbs that are in there are not the ones I think I'm gonna keep in there. I think I'm gonna replace them. But uh, it looks like a trash can. <laughs> trash can hanging down from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I don't know. I'm so torn right now because I just put so much effort into it. But I don't know if I like it. It looked way cooler like on Pinterest and stuff. <laughs> In their rooms. I don't know. I don't know guys. It looks like a trash can hanging upside down. I think maybe if I put the white along the bottom it'll look better. So I need to figure out how to put the white around the bottom of that. Oh goodness. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I'm going to just keep it the way it is for now and maybe I'll I don't know. Maybe I'll figure out what to do later or if I'll, maybe I'll like cut it in half and it'll be half as high. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for right now. So I'm going to make the bottom and I've traced the bottom of the lampshade. So now I'm going to cut just a little bit bigger than this circle and I'm going to attach the ribbon to it and um, I think I have some elastic downstairs, so I think I'm going to fold some elastic into the ribbon and then the elastic will keep it on the bottom of the lampshade that I could just pull it off when I need to change the light. I'm going to try that and see how it works. This part I'm making up as I go, so I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. This part is taking the longest <laughs> connecting these two. It probably wouldn't take as long if I was sewing it but I don't want to go grab my sewing machine and everything, so I am using the glue gun. I couldn't find the elastic that I thought I had, but if I need to tie it with something, I'm sure I can come up with something. But I'm gonna see if it'll just slide onto it. Yeah, and then maybe I could use some pins, <laughs> stick it in there, and it'll be good to go. I don't know, we'll see. And my trash can is on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like how the bottom came out. It's a little buckled at the bottom. I'm probably going to have to fix that. It'll probably bother me. But uh, overall, there is my light fixture. It doesn't really go on the camera as well as it is in real life. Let's see if I can adjust the lighting. I think that is more representative of what it looks like in real life. What do you guys think? What's your opinions on my lampshade? John goes, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, there was my DIY project for the day. This is what snowy day Saturdays are all about. I'm over there folding laundry amongst that mess <laughs> and talking to Lastic. And Tegan is watching uh, the Baby Einstein DVD that we bought to sell on eBay, but we never sold. <laughs> and John is out there snow blowing. Where'd he go? I lost him. <laughs> he was heading down the driveway two seconds ago. I'm not joking. And now he's gone. Oh, come on. Oh, he's out by the mailbox. <laughs> he's down there by the mailbox, snow blowing. Daddy, 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 daddy. <laughs> you see daddy out there, buddy? Daddy, daddy. I'm fine. Who's daddy? Yeah, daddy's blowing the snow. Yeah, cleaning up from today's storm, getting ready for tomorrow's storm. Oh, goodness. Snow, 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 snow. So, are you guys prepared to be snowed in <laughs> for the next two days? Yep. We got two twos, we're all set. Mm -hmm. He's been doing, I don't know what time is it, what time is it? It's almost 9 o'clock p.m. He's been doing this for about two hours. Is it still missing a piece? Yeah, this, the green the one. The green one. We have no idea what happened to that green one. 
We've been through all his little toys a million times. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it since we moved. I have no idea. I mean, I think there might be another box of his stuff downstairs, maybe? Or I don't know if we've brought it all up. I think we brought everything up already. I have no idea where that could be. I'd like to get him a new minis train set that actually works. So this one frustrates me so yeah. much. He doesn't seem to be having an issue with it. I know. Hey, the lighting's in here is actually pretty good. It hasn't snowed that much, maybe like a little dusting, since I snow blow the driveway. I think there's going to be a brief window of opportunity tomorrow because we realized we might lose power because the wind is supposed to be crazy. It's supposed to get like over a foot, almost two feet of snow on Sunday night. And then Monday morning, it's supposed to be like blizzard conditions, like 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So there's a very good chance we could lose power. And Ben was like, we probably should have got bread. <laughs> it's like, we got plenty of food, but if we lose power... <laughs> we have no way to cook it. So there's a brief window of opportunity. I think tomorrow morning, if you wake up early, you can run down to, you know, the store mm -hmm. and grab some bread. If, we, if there's any bread left. If there's any, there might be a <laughs> run on bread. But this storm sounds like it's going to be pretty legit. I hope it, like, fizzles out. That would be great. Maybe be in your plugger outside. I think, I think somebody's getting ready for bed, so I think we'll probably call it a night, too. We had a great live stream earlier. It was a lot of fun. Tegan was such a good boy. Usually, you know, when you do a live stream at night, it's kind of hit or miss because he, like, gets a little rambunctious. He just ran out to get his stuff. <laughs> well, I think we're going to get ready for bed. Ben, are you going to be able to get up? No. I've been sitting here for two hours. I've laid on my back. I've laid on my side. I've laid on my stomach. Maybe you should sneak I've out. I've played. Maybe you should sneak out now and get the, uh, get the bread and the stuff. No. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for storm updates. Stor see if we survived Snowmageddon 2.